First aid, we're also light on. We don't have much in the way of first aid. Alright. So yeah, all the uh, major crafting skills, we've got all the books we need already. It's just uh, computers that we need to bridge. Everything else, not too concerned about. A few points of survival would be nice, but not overly concerned. Um, and yeah, first aid, everything else, we've got what we need, barring about one computer and one electronics book. Let's see. Let's grab... <clears throat> So many MREs. <laughs> um, a gallon jug of water. And a few MREs. That's all sorts of fun when you start moving like that and you all of a sudden go down when you hear uh, electrical discharge. <laughs> I thought something ran around the corner and tagged me. Ah, oh, crap. I forgot to bring the pickaxe. Alright, that gets me most of the stuff that I might need down here. Alright, uh, that Uh, we need more 2x4s probably at some point, but that's enough for now. So we got some water nearby, we've got the pots, I've got my jug and food. Move this stuff down. Alright, got the pickaxe with us, got our battle rifle. We should probably eat and sleep first before we do anything else. That is a lot of junk.
Good enough. Oh, that's right. I have earplugs now. See if uh, they work well enough to let me sleep through the noise this place has. Come on, fall asleep. Cool. That'll work. Ugh, it's one of those active labs, and with the Z levels turned on, it's having to uh, process huge amounts of movement, both here in the lab and in the uh, swamp spaces around the lab. So it's taking forever to sleep here. This may not work. <laughs> this will drive me crazy. Oh my! Yeah, I'm not sure how many times I can put up with that. Really? A message about how I'm feeling when I woke up? All right, let's use the heat pack on the Asian beef and vegetables. All right, full and slate, focus is good, stats are good. Really? I disliked my Asian beef and vegetable entree? Why? I warmed it up. I don't have any negative traits for food types. Oh, huh. I guess them's just the MREs. Um, got the rifle in hand, got the pickaxe, uh, the hacksaw. Yeah, let's go get the uh, CBMs before I forget they're down there. And again, it's going to go super slow mo. Oh boy. Yeah, I don't care about that one. Give me the tool set, though. All right, let's go get ourselves killed over here. This is hmm, this is actually a little, a little tougher. I do not like to retreat into rooms that are all lit up. So if I try to, if I get something nasty in here like a grenadier and I'm backing into a lit room, they're going to be able to see me at range and start tossing out their nasty manhack grenades. So this is a bit... Too many lights for me to run around breaking everything. I just don't want to take the time to do it. Uh, let's take out the computer. Make sure it's not generating a light source. Took an hour to get through that.
I'm another hour to get through the bars. God, that's ridiculous. I wonder I'm always tired when I come and finish doing that. So far, I haven't heard much movement or activity in the uh, barracks here. Ah, let's, let's close this up so we don't have any light spilling in. Let's see if there's anybody here waiting for me. Light amp goggles. I love light amp goggles. Thank you, light amp goggles. Don't need a rucksack. Sure, let's put on the light amp goggles. Let's actually activate the light amp goggles. <laughs> I especially love it because it screws up the uh, green screen keying effect. <laughs> so my glasses and such sometimes get a little weird. Well, I've got this bright lime green color going on because of the goggles. But they're very useful for shooting things just outside the range that uh, they can hit you at. Water survival, drop leg, tack pouch, or tack gloves. Grab the tack gloves. Another clear holster. Grab the ballistic glasses. Ah, turn the goggles back off. I'm not really using them right here. Um, so, somebody's making lots of noise. That means there is not a turret in there. So I should be able to go right through the metal door. But that's also going to mean they're going to be waiting for me right when I pop the door. Which could be bad. I suspect even if I try to go through the wall up here, they're going to hear me digging and come wandering on up here. All right, please don't be a elite grenadier. Very hungry, very thirsty, and tired. Right, this is where we do want to turn them on. Yeah, zombie grenadier. <laughs> hey, zombie grenadier. Hmm. What else we got? There's the RivTech SPIW submachine gun. Always fun. Um, well, there's the 100 round magazine for my assault rifle. Mm -hmm. That way I have to reload even less often. And 80 rounds of uh, my favorite 8x40 FMJ. With the higher armor piercing and a fire armor pair kit. This one's a good one. Now, assuming it doesn't all get rubbleized when uh, that grenadier goes boom. All right. Well, this would be interesting. That's about the best shot I've got. So, 66 normal, 34. All right, down he goes. He has dropped a live grenade. We need to get out of the area. All right, hopefully he didn't bring down the ceiling. Nope, didn't bring down the ceiling. Cool. Just the one. That and two soldiers. Whoa, four soldiers. Five soldiers. Six soldiers. What the hell? <laughs> no wonder they were making noise down here. Well, we just got 80 more rounds of ammo, so I guess we're just going to throw our earplugs in. We're already deaf, but that's all right. 
They can't see me, so this will be fish in a barrel situation here. All right, problem taken care of. Yay, another ID card. Another MRE. More antibiotics. Ooh, another pair of light amp goggles. We'll take the batteries for that, thank you very much. Yeah, I just didn't want to be extra long deaf. <laughs> I was more concerned with the length of the deafness. Alright, look at that, two of the uh, RM216s. MP5SD. I really don't care about any of that. I do want that though. Very, very much want the 100 round magazine. Oh, we got tracers as well as the uh, other one. And we got a UPS also. Yeah, this was quite the, uh, quite the find. Four MREs. This is a good one here. All right, let's. Uh, it this way. Inventory sorts by category. Don't care. Definitely take that. Yeah, no ammo for them, of course. Don't care about the hacks. Very much, yes. I think I got everything. Ooh, there's two light amp goggles. That one. One there. Ah, there. There we go. Almost missed out on a couple hundred more batteries. Okay, yeah, that was a great one. Grenadier and some uh, soldiers. But as I said, given how well I know these barracks and such, it's going to be pretty tough, pretty odd situation that's going to show up that's going to be able to keep me out of these uh, armories and give me any kind of a possible uh, issue. So we've got a 100 round magazine for our battle rifle now. We'll swap that out when we get back upstairs. Um, Could do it now and have 76 rounds. 
Yeah, let's do it now. Unload. Unload. Reload with the hundred round mag. And reload with the caseless. Alright, so we're up to 76 shots in the rifle. And then we could always load up an extra 50 round mag, but I'll never go through that many shots. I'll be dead long before I blow that many bullets in an engagement. Or even a series of engagements. Pretty good one, though. Oh, yeah. Turn these things off. <laughs> Firearm repair kit's pretty valuable too. Uh, I want to uh, suppress or red dot sight the rifle. Sure. Oh, can't suppress it, huh? Yeah, that's fine. How about the uh how about the pistol? <laughs> We're gonna suppress an auto mag. Alright, we've got a suppressor on the auto mag. Exciting. Reduce the amount of noise and muzzle flash. Still gonna be extremely loud. However, um, get some more food and drink. All right, again. All right, let's put that away in the holster. I can hear again. <laughs> I'm still wearing my earplugs, right? I am. Alright, level 2 by 4 I do not. Ooh, first responder. That might be the um, first aid book that we need. Uh, let's go ahead and go. Should take this thing out first. Go away, computer. Yeah, time for the goggles again. Looking and sounding pretty clear. I didn't hear any movement while I was digging my way in. Not sure nobody's hiding in the bathroom. I already got that one. Been a while since I caught a stream and been a few months sign I played the game. Is the current version stable? Um, yes. Not aware of any super major issues with the current version. I updated a couple of days ago. Uh, 
kind of hard to always say 100% that the current version, since there's three or four current versions a day. <laughs> I think it'll be okay, though. Although I am having what seems to be problems with some auto or some mapping, but uh, I think that's I think that's okay. All right, let's see. Turn this back off again. Not hearing anything inside there. Yeah, let's just go. All right, so is it out of shots or not? <laughs> we'll wait until those zombies stand up again to find out. What kind of zombies am I looking at? Oh, RivTech light machine gun. RivTech light machine gun. That thing might have 250 rounds of ammo. <laughs> it's possible. It's got a RMGD 250, a 540 round drum magazine. I don't think I can use that on my battle rifle though, but if it is, if it does have ammo, that'll basically give me a massive amount of ammo for uh, my Riptech guns. That's the kind of thing I hope to find on the dead zombie soldiers. Might have to EMP this just to be safe. So let's do that. Let's go ahead and wield. Better safe than sorry. Oops, I don't have my EMP grenades with me. Crap. Um... Can I line up on it from the other corner? How far are you? 12 exactly. I am supposedly in very dark, but I'm really worried about that because that's supposedly bright. I think. I want to say that thing can shoot me from right there. I think I'm going to take the shot from out here. I'll have to take down one more door. Well, it still had bullets. <laughs> so, I'm glad I waited. Now it's out of bullets. How many zombies stood up? Yep, they've all stood back up. All right. They're just going to stand there and try to hit the turret so they're not posing any danger to me. I could actually walk around the whole place and just leave them there. But I want the gear underneath them and I got, I got ammo. I might have a whole lot of ammo here in a second. So, oh yeah. I forgot that was going to happen. <laughs> I tried to shoot through the turret. Uh, I got to take off these because they are messing with my night vision. Actually, we'll just turn them on. All right, hope you, hope you, hope you. Yeah, there was four of them in here. Please tell me it has ammo. Please tell me it has ammo. Ah, no ammo. Damn it, so close. Well, uh, we had the opportunity. Didn't get lucky. All right, what else we got in here? Don't care, don't care. Hey, look, a Barrett magazine, finally. Oh, there's the 500 round magazine. <laughs> uh, yeah, 500 round drum magazine. Throwing knives. All right, I'm just gonna work our way around. Sure, give me a 500 round magazine. I know I can't use that for anything that I've currently got. 
Battle rifle can only go up to 100, I think. No, it'll go to 250. Unfortunately, I don't have the 250. I've got the 50, the 100, <laughs> and the 500. Oh, the 250's down. Eh, that one down there might do it. We'll take a look. Don't care, don't care, don't care. Don't care. Unload. All right. So that'll take the RMGD 250. That's the RMGD 250. So now I can upgrade my battle rifle to have 250 rounds. I'm not sure I even have that many rounds laying around, even after the number of uh, ammo or the amount of ammo we've actually located. Yeah, I think that is it. All right, this floor is done. Except for the vaults that I don't think I'm going to mess with right now. I'm not ready to try to install anything anyway. Where the hell did you come from, manhack? Little bastard. I'm wearing that blanket as well. Punk. Alright, extra mag. I don't have anything that'll be able to use that. I think the light machine guns are, or the machine guns, the big ones, are the only ones that can use the 500 round drums. Probably won't use that. First aid to six. Awesome. Dead tired. Not surprised. I uh, wanted to drop that blanket over here. All right, full slate. Um, we'll need to sleep. Before I do, I just wanted to run upstairs real quick. That is going to continue to freak me out. All right, there's our list now. So, first aid to six. Hard to get it too much higher than that.
Oh, I want the 250 round drum magazine, please. <laughs> well, I don't have uh, 250 of any one particular type. I've got 145 of the 8mm caseless and 30 of the FMJ. I think I got more downstairs of the FMJ. I think we just picked up some more of that. We'll go with the standard caseless, though. Alright, that should handle uh, Firefighter 2. I'm not going to bother carrying a second egg. Um, I thought I got more FMJ. Misremembering, apparently. Hmm, apparently. Hmm. Hey there, GM1Z. Yeah, this is, um, <laughs> pretty much everything I do is next level cataclysm stuff. I play... Super hard mode challenge series with uh, team challenges I come up with to make the game harder slash more interesting slash have a point. <laughs> so we're actually pretty early into this challenge. I just happened to get kind of lucky on the first lab that I went into getting me some pretty big interesting things. But I know them really well as well. All right, let's uh let's take a nap. We have to throw our earplugs in and our blindfold, and take another nap. Might take two naps if it'll let me. Oh yeah, I forgot about the super slow progression because of the Z-levels being on. This is definitely going to drive me nuts. So, if anybody is new that's watching the channel, make sure you uh, check out my YouTube channel. Tons and tons of Cataclysm content over there, especially if you're a newer player. I put together and uh, post up a lot of tutorial content, quick tip series, a university series, and so on. Hey, we finally woke up. <laughs> Problem is I can't sleep back to back very easily because of the negative sleep traits I've got. I'm a uh, narcoleptic, insomniac, heavy sleeper, and sleepy. The narcoleptic you've seen on occasion as I kind of black out. I don't actually sleep, but it makes me blind is effectively what happens. The insomniac, though, that makes it hard for me to go back to sleep even in the best of circumstances. So if I don't have the sleepy tag, it's really hard for me to just force myself back to sleep to try to get ahead of that fatigue curve. So, yeah, <laughs> I don't think I'm even going to try. I could have tried to abuse some cough syrup, but uh, I think we'll avoid that for this one. So let's take off our blindfold. And our plugs. All right, what do we got left over here? More entrees. Yeah, at the rate I'm gaining MREs from all the barracks we've been hitting, <laughs> I'm staying ahead of the food curve. Uh, and water. Alright, there we go. No negative things to worry about. Everything's looking good there. Full strength. Stats are good. Skills are... Skills are shit, <laughs> honestly. Skills are terrible. But we're only on day 19, and we're rolling around with the uh, Primero guns in the game. 
So that's kind of odd. I haven't done a single thing to really <laughs> adjust or figure out my, my clothing and armor. We've been rolling around with 80 encumbrance for most of these fights recently. <clears throat> it's kind of weird. Yeah, the uh, tutorial series was the very, very first thing that I uh, ever created and put up on YouTube. So it's getting a bit long in the tooth. I'd say probably 95% of it is still completely accurate and valid. So there are things here and there that aren't, but uh, it still acts as a pretty good tutorial to get people into the game. Um, I do plan on doing a new tutorial, much, much shorter, just a short focused one to introduce players to the game. Once the uh, zero point D stable version drops, which supposedly is any day now, um, so I'll start working on that. So I'll get it updated to the uh, the stable version, and uh, yeah, that's the plan. But the uh, the big long one, yeah, that one got away from me a bit. <laughs> I never did run out of things to, to talk about and to keep exploring, so just kind of tells you how big and complex the game can be. Okay, um, I think at this point, uh, before I head down another level, because we have completed this level, I don't care about the prisoner containment. There's nothing in there that interests me other than eh, maybe some scientists. Um, that's it. Uh, we finished the rest of this level. Don't know how deep this lab is. I suspect it's fairly deep given how slow it's chugging along when I try to go to sleep. And that's not the speed of the computer. That's just uh, the game code as it tries to compute everything. But, um, yeah, I've got a few options there. But I'm really starting to get pretty annoyed at the map. The map is bugging the hell out of me. No mansions whatsoever. Only two buildings so far, <clears throat> so far that I could even possibly use uh, for my showroom for my vehicles. We haven't gotten started on that yet. At some point, I'm probably just going to sit down and eat all my MREs and any other random food just to grind through a few skill books. Um, but yeah, this map is just really, really making me salty. Uh, it's a really, really weird map gen. We've been a long way in traveling through it. And uh, I've seen like eight farms, and this is the only city of any size we've seen so far. Lots of road hazards, which is fine. I'm, I'm okay with that. But uh, just the general mix of uh, endpoint locations, these these things, it's just been terrible. It's a horrible, horrible mix. And um, I don't know. I'm getting pretty annoyed about the map gen and the way it uh, created this. And the way the maps, the road maps, don't seem to be working quite the way I expect. I'm not sure if there's been yet another change to the map behavior. Um, but they definitely haven't been doing what I expect them to do. But I'm going to call it to a halt right here for the evening. We're coming up on eight hours. I'm getting a little bleary. So uh, it's, not, it's not a good thing to be bleary when you're running through labs. <laughs> we don't want yet another lab turret death. So I'm going to try to avoid that as much as possible so we can get a little further into this actual challenge portion of this. Um, I can't really do much more to improve my weaponry. Uh, we're already rocking the best we can get for gunfire. So... The rest of the skills, like I said, pretty much suck. We'll get to work on those. That'll take a little bit of time, but um, we'll kind of see from there. I just didn't want to keep driving around. I got kind of tired of driving tonight, so. Uh, but like I said, if you're new, make sure you go check out my YouTube channel. Feel free to visit me on my Discord if you'd like to chat about the game or have any suggestions or want to keep track of what I'm doing. I'll be back on tomorrow, and uh, about the same time, it'll be with a different game. I believe RimWorld. I'm kind of changing things up on my alternate days, but uh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday, still the plan, Cataclysm. So if you want to follow this particular series and run, just uh, show back up on Wednesday, 4 o'clock to midnight or so is when I usually run things. Hope to see you then. Thanks for everybody for their support, tips, subs, all that good stuff. Thank you, thank you. And catch you guys next time. Have a good one.